Beep. Once upon a time, there was a little Chris. Say hi, Chris. And he well, was a poopy face. But one day, the little Chris decided that he was going to clean his poopy face. <gasps> so he decided to quest out into the world of the unknown in search of wipes to clean his poopy face. That's impossible. I mean, ooh, I'm But a unfortunately, ghost when he went to the store, there were no wipes. No! Oh, I want to go this way. <gasps> oh. Um, wait, what am I doing? I saw a white and I thought it was chick. Are those chickens? No, they're more sheep. Why is there so much sheep in this world? That's a good question. We need more chicken. In I'm the kidding. World. I've literally traveled um, thousands of blocks and I've seen like four chickens. Yep, it's crazy, uh, dude. Black wall, I would go and search for chickens, but I think today is a nether day, so I think I'm gonna go check that place out. <laughs> it's a now I died day. in the nether last time, so <laughs> hopefully that won't happen this time. Uh, I don't have any important stuff in here, right? I have some iron swords. I have a diamond pick. I should probably not bring the diamond pick. You didn't even comment on let's, your own pun. Let's not bring the diamond pick. Uh, do I have iron? I have iron like over here. Ooh, and then I can go grab a sticky. Put it out! Put out the fire, man! You didn't start the fire. Oh, but I did. We're still a burning and we're damn a burning. So happy Halloween, Glean! Oh yeah, it's the spooky episode. Spoopy! Three spoopy, five me. Do you have any spoopy stories to tell? Um, not a spoopy story, but a funny one. Go on. Um, so this is a. I mean. This is, this is the closest, by the way, that we've, we've been, like, recording to a release in an episode. So this is the Friday before the episode goes out. So that's pretty cool. We've cut it pretty so, close before. Yeah, I don't... Uh, but I think this might be the closest, though. Because I don't think we've ever done it, like, day of or day before. Yeah, definitely not day of. Maybe... maybe no, actually, I don't think day before either. Maybe yeah, like a couple so I think this before. is the closest. Um, but I, either way, so... Uh, I don't know why I said that. It's not relevant to the story. Um... So like maybe two weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago or so, I, I was it was fall break, um, at here, and um, uh, yeah, it was fall break at the college, so I was doing a bunch of stuff. I was doing uh some searching because um, what the hang on a sec. Oh, I see. Okay, we're what good. The what the what? Um, no. Uh, so I was doing some research because I'm looking for internship stuff for next summer because I'm you know a college student, got to get those opportunities and stuff. <laughs> So that way I can, you know, um, the the money that is spent on the college is, like, worth it. I feel like internships stuff. is, like, a highly states thing. Because I don't hear anyone from, like, any other country ever talk about internships ever. I mean, like, it, it, the thing is, is, like, um, uh, like when they when jobs are looking looking for stuff, they look for prior experience. So, <laughs> basically. Yeah, it, I mean, it like, makes sense. It just, yeah. It's a weird. So, the idea makes sense. I wish there were more, like, paid opportunities. And I think the reason why in the states it's, like, internships are like a state's thing mm -hmm. because like there's more unpaid internships where if like all internships were paid then they would just call them jobs yeah you know yeah so i i don't know um what is the difference between a paid internship and a job though um the, you a paid internship is just just for a very limited amount of time oh i see uh but like you could just call that a job that's yeah, for a limited a amount of time job. yeah exactly so i mean in that respect i don't know weird anyway here's where i died I see the place where I died. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry to cut off your story. We're talking about internships, applying for internships. No, 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 no it's fine. Oh. Um, so anyway, um, I was um, on my computer and I was working on uh, actually some YouTube related stuff, a script for the next video I'm working on, um, which uh, is not a gaming related video, by the I way. I saw which your is update fun. thing. Well, I saw the um, title one. But uh, either way. Um, I was working on that and I was drinking some soda and I spilled it on my keyboard on my MacBook uh, that I'm using okay. to play this game. So I was like, oh shit, what do I do? So I, I, you know, I mopped it up with a paper towel. Most of it spilled on the left side. So I was like, okay, that isn't that bad. I can just like, you know, figure that out. But the thing is, is that the soda went like underneath the keys. So I had, oh, so uh, basically my caps lock, my tab and my <laughs> shift on the left side and even my escape key a little bit um are like really stuck oh you have a laptop um, too don't you what this is on a laptop too don't or isn't it yeah 
because I've done that before too on my like p my like my computer, but I just took it all apart and cleaned it all up and it worked nicely. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say is I was like, oh shit, so how do I fix this problem? <laughs> you know, um, so what I so I was like, okay. You know, I'll just clean the key. So I looked up online. I looked up tutorials and stuff. I'm. This is not a productive path. I'm gonna head back. What's going on? Minecraft um, keeps freezing on me. Are you? Is it good? I you... I, at first, it, it feels like it's gonna crash, but it hasn't yet. So we will keep going on. But if I suddenly okay. be sad, that that would probably be why. Right. So um, I either way, I looked up how to take apart the keys and stuff. So I'm like, okay, that it doesn't look that hard. You need to like basically the keys are held in by like four. Um, oh, locks is the best way yeah. to put it. I know exactly where you're going with it. It's I I've tried to do that multiple times. It is horrible. Yeah. So always you know, I, keys. so uh, the shift key is the biggest one. So that one was pretty easy to pull out. And then I did the caps lock next, and that went fine. And like those keys still stick a little bit because it's kind of hard Jesus. to. Yeah, I think you auto jump now. Yeah, you can turn that off though. Oh, you can. Yeah, I mean, probably... I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I don't like it or not. Uh, like, I have yeah, especially in the Nether, I would highly suggest turning it off because it's really easy to actually jump off, especially when you find another fortress, because there's one okay. block high things there. A lot of people okay. have died. Okay, I will. I will <laughs> turn it off then. Yeah. Uh, pro tips. Okay. An original pro tip. Yeah. Um, anyway, um. So. I don't have. I don't have many torches, do I? But I have sticks and coal. I'm fine. Um, so anyway, so then I get to the tab key, right? Hey, and I'm like, village. okay, you know, I, I've done this twice. I can, I can do this. This isn't hard. Um, so I like, I start. I pull it out, and it's like, okay, it's fine. Um, but I look on the back of the key when I pull it out, and there's like stuff actually stuck to the back of the key. So I like yep. use a paper towel and dab on that, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> dab I'll on fix it. that. Yeah, I, da I, I literally, like, you know, dabbed, you know, with both my arms, you know, on it. Big, it, it was fine. Um, so I do that, and then I'm like, okay. And then I did the, and then I use the paper, wet paper towel, dab out, like, the inside of the key or whatever. And I'm about to put it back in. But you need to, like, click the key onto, like, the four, you know, on the four hooks again, right? Mm -hmm. But as I dabbed it with the paper towel, apparently Jeez. I, like, somehow, like, bent the key slightly. Oh, really? so I was like shit so it's not gonna go back into its spot so I'm like okay I gotta bend this back into place and of course as I bend the key back I snap it in half you snap the key in half yeah I snap because it's a MacBook it's a MacBook so it's not like one of the like cube shaped keys it's like yeah. really thin you know so I just yeah. snapped it in half so See, currently would... my tab key is secured onto the keyboard with a piece <laughs> of blue like masking tape well I always had issues with the uh, with the anchors. I, th I think that's what they're called, right? I, I always had issues with those always snapping on me. Those are always break, and uh, it's so frustrating. I'm so happy I don't. Well, I do have a laptop still, but honestly, if the key stopped working, I'd say screw it. I'm not going through all that effort again. All right, chat. I guess I'd probably take it to a shop. Was... Yeah, I mean, like what I've kind of concluded from having this MacBook is that like MacBooks, and in some cases laptops in general, but I'd say especially MacBooks are very much secondary machines mm -hmm. uh, if you use your computer a lot yeah. um uh it, you know you can't use those as like your primary uh workstation mm -hmm. and i have been and you know i've been i've been okay but and, and i'm going to have to continue to do that because i don't exactly have the monetary funds in order to you know buy build a computer at this point especially when i have other investments that i need w would like to make first Ooh, investments. um yeah but um you know uh, it, it, you know, uh, MacBooks and other computers are definitely like your your secondary thing. Mm -hmm. Is basically what I've concluded. Over like yeah, a full grown PC, or yeah. That was the that, spoopiest story I think I've ever heard. Actually, it was pretty scary. <laughs> it was hilarious because um, one thing I um I on at my college right when we do. Okay, I'm just going to dig down. It's fine. Um, uh, at my college, um, I'm producing, like, a show for the college's television network. But, like, the That's television's, cool. like, internet streaming. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's super fun. It's, we're doing basically, like, Whose Line. But who's what? Whose Line? Uh, whose Line Is It Anyway? Okay. Have you heard That's, of Whose yeah. Line Is It Anyway? Yeah, I just, I just wanted to make sure that's what you said. Yeah, so it's basically Whose Line. We call it Something Funny. And so we can say <laughs> like, jokes like, <laughs> that's a oh, that, that was something <laughs> funny. <laughs> you know. Um, so good times. 
overall. Okay, there's something over here. Instead of digging around that way, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the lava bridge technique. Technique, technique. I'm gonna definitely have to restart my computer after this episode because my for some reason my freezing. world difficulty wasn't locked, but it was on what? hard the whole time. Oh, so I, I relocked it. I think the update did that. Probably yeah. Mine's mine's still locked on hard. Locked on peaceful. Locked on peaceful. <laughs> I literally couldn't fight the Ender Dragon. Actually, I don't. I would imagine the Ender Dragon just disappears. Does it die? Huh. I wonder if you turn to peaceful when you're in the end and you're fighting another or the Ender Dragon. If it just the dragon is gone forever. Maybe? Oh shit! Did you just die? Uh, yeah, I died. I mean, I'm going to die. Did you lose all your things? Yeah. Oh my god, that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fine. There wasn't anything overly exciting, so. And then he reels. Oh, I still have my uh, my spoopy skin on. Yeah, because all my diamonds myself. here. I didn't have to keep the diamond pick with me, so it's fine. I still have armor here because I made all that shit. And I have tons of iron stuff, so, like, I'm fine. That's I'm good. not I'm not overly concerned and I still have like a few iron swords left from my iron sword scapade <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was forgetting about that. So have you ever had something actually like Spoopy unexplained paranormal happen to you Not that I can think of really? no hmm. I had I have I've had a few things like, Okay, let's hear it. Uh, when I was I don't, I don't think I've told you this story that was a uh, little baby boy. I, actually, I was, I was probably like little baby, a little babby Chris. Little babby Chris. I think I was like seven or eight, maybe around that age, I guess. Um, when we, when I got a puppy, and so every night we would like put the uh, put the dog in the cage, so you know it doesn't like pee all over the house and cause a whole bunch of mail while everyone's sleeping. And uh, I, I threw a whole bunch of toys in the cage, you know, to make it make the puppy feel like yeah, let's play for fun times. But there was one <gasps> chickens. But there was one toy in particular that our past dog before that had died. It was like the, uh, that dog's favorite toy, and then uh, it was in the spot that was the dog's like favorite spot as well. It was underneath the table, and I tossed that toy into the cage, and then I went downstairs to like tell my dad that hey, the cage is ready for the puppy to go to sleep, and then I went mm -hmm. back upstairs and. <gasps> My past dog's favorite toy was back underneath, or, um, underneath the table. I was like, "What? The, what the hell?" I was very spooked, and then I was like, "Okay, okay, I'm. It's late. I'm tired. Maybe I'm crazy." Uh, I so I ran to the toy, picked it up, and threw it back in the cage. Went downstairs, told my dad what happened. He was like, "What? You're crazy, Chris." I was like, "Okay," and then I went upstairs and checked again. It had moved back underneath under the table where like where it initially yeah, was. Yeah, and that, I did it one more time and just booked it downstairs and like I refused to go back upstairs because I was so spooked out. And, and, uh, and when when you woke up, was it like in the cage or no? Um, I don't remember. I don't actually remember the third time going upstairs if it had moved or not again. But uh, uh, I mean, I don't like I was young, but I was like I was pretty like I don't know. I was pretty conscious of the situation, so it's like I don't I have no idea, like what how. Who and like, cause we had two dogs and like the puppy and also the other dog was were both downstairs. My mom and my sister were sleeping, and that would be a weird thing for them to like mess around with. So, yeah, it's just it's I don't I like it's I don't know if that's paranormal or not or what the hell, but it was just a very weird, weird. That experience. is a weird deal, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can't think of anything that happened to me that was particularly like spooky or anything. Spooky. Okay, I think that's all I need, so I'm just gonna go back in the nether now. I mean, I lost some, like, you know, stuff that I just had mined in the nether, but, you know, yeah. in terms of... I lost a bunch of coal, actually. But, like, th in terms of things to lose, I don't think coal is the worst thing. Oh, definitely not. Man, I just killed, like, 20 chickens. I don't think I got any feathers. That's sad. That is very sad. I'm a, I'm a sad sassy. I'm a sad, a sad boy. More chickens! Oh my god, the chickens are finally spawning in this a world. Sad boy, sad, sad, sad. Sorry. So sad. You better be. I thought I had looting on something, but I guess I don't. Die, chickens. Okay. Um. Yes. I also lost oh some food. It looks like. Uh, food has been a very hard thing to come by. Now I have my I have my garden, so I'm good with food. It's just that oh, yeah. I need. Like... <laughs> oh, there you go. I got some feathers finally. But will it be enough? 
find out on some exciting episodes. Do you at least believe in ghosts or not really? What? Do you at least believe in spoopy ghosts or not really? I don't know. Um, one of my friends uh, believes in like ghosts and claims he's been like possessed. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure like oh. how true that is or yeah, not. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, at when when he was at college, um, he like did all of the things. Did, being vague and saying all of the things I see. that way you can kind of fill in the blanks and figure out what those things might be oh i so see it's po killed people so it so it, it's possible he wasn't in a normal state of mind when it <laughs> happened yeah the oh. other possibility is that um he would just surround himself by people that were like crazy and believed in that stuff yeah so i don't know so i i, I don't know like i but i have definitely heard some stories that like maybe like question it or whatever but yeah. like in general i'm just like I, i'm too logical for that yeah, makes sense. I mean, I'm the same way. Like, I'm like, I wouldn't mess around with, like, a Ouija board or anything. But I'm also very, like, eh, probably not a thing. Maybe a thing. Probably not. Who yeah. knows? Exactly. No spooky ghosts coming Okay, I got, I got three bread. That's good enough. Is there anything else? I... Oh, a shield. Okay. <gasps> how, do we, how do you make a shield again? Um... You, okay, uh, you you fill in every slot of the uh, the workbench with wood, except the bottom left, the bottom right, and then the top middle is an iron ingot. Okay, I need to get a little bit more wood, though, because I converted all my wood to sticks. Yeah, wood. Ooh, i got to be careful jumping around on cliffs. Man, I have all these freaking um, chickens here, but I'm killing them all. I'm now just realizing... We need to make a cake still. Oh, yeah, I need here. I need to get eggs. That's my big thing. Yeah. I haven't found a single chicken yet. I mean, I didn't even like they're super, super, super sparse. Do I got? I don't know how often chickens lay eggs. I might actually even look that up. Freaking chickens ruining my life. Okay, I'm gonna leave these four chickens alive and hope they maybe lay an egg or something for me. I wouldn't even look that up right now, middle of the episode. My Do it, craft. Chris. Chicken lays eggs. While well, a little ch oh, a chicken will lay uh, one egg every five to ten minutes. Hmm. Fun. So just have the egg episode where we just sit there <laughs> and just wait for eggs. <sighs> you will give me an egg. Unless it is or was a part of a chicken jockey. Oh, I see. This goes after chicken lays an egg. A What's a chicken cover. jockey? Oh, that's where a zombie rides on a chicken. That's a thing? That is a thing. Cause all I knew was the spider jockey, because that was like a bug, but like I guess they made chicken jockeys cause like for the memes. Mm-hmm. Spider memes. Chicken jockeys. May Mays. Alright, let's go take a little peek ski over here. See if I, there's need any to, I need to get an iron first. Meh. 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 More chickens? No, no, no more chickens. It's a shield, shield law. <gasps> more chickens. That was, a, that was funny. I did a, I did a funny. That's not funny, Matt. People have died that way. From shield laws? I don't know. Oh, I, um, I might have a slight advantage over you now in fighting the dragon. I actually did fight the dragon on the original craft server. We might have already talked about this. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, did we? Okay. Well, I did horrible at it, so we'll see what happens <laughs> when I get to that. Point. I mean, we're we're not gonna be at the dragon for a while, so. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting kind of close. Once I get back to spawn, I'm going to uh, um, farm a bunch of endermen and then start hunting for the fortress. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm wow. pretty much as ready as I'm gonna be. I That's mean, crazy. While gathering levels and all that, so I should be good to go relatively soon. I'm surprised. Me too. Okay, well, I haven't headed this way yet, so I'm gonna do that. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, God. Um, it's a bit of a gap, but I think we'll be okay. The thing that messed me up last time is I turned around and, like, didn't just keep going. So I'm just gonna keep going this time and not change anything until i get across do but do but do but do 
Ah, what? Did you die again? How what did you die? What was that? How There's did a you magma die? cube, but magma oh. cubes don't jump that. Okay. Did he jump super high? It's fine. To the sky. Oh my god, this leg. Alright, we are at 20 minutes. So once you're at a good stopping point, so let me know. Wow. I've made absolutely no progress in this game. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me some. I'm gonna get me some wood. So that way, next time I can just jump right in. So you could die then? I mean, like, I have so <laughs> much iron. Like, at this point, I don't even care. The reason why I went back caving is because I didn't have any iron. But now I have, like, so much iron. Like I was going to ask why you were caving before. Yeah, my still... original caving expedition was to find iron. But then I also was out of diamonds. So I was like, oh, I can't leave until I at least get one diamond. Uh, you know, a few diamonds, yeah. right? But that was the whole goal of the caving was to get back my iron supply. Because I lost it when I turned it all into swords. <laughs> Lol. So you? that was the whole purpose of the caving. But now that that's done, there's no reason for me to go back really, and continue caving. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the rest of this tree, and then we can call it a, a video of a, a voodoo. A voodoo. So I guess. Ooh, so how explain. many episodes do you think this is gonna last, Chris? Uh, you... another probably probably like ten more to be honest. I was gonna say 35, so that, we that, that. I mean, we'll see if I. I'll probably die brutally to the Ender Dragon. What if we get to a point where neither of us could beat the Ender Dragon? Do we just do we just be sad about our lives? I guess at that point. Um, I don't know. I mean, you could. We could just take the Dark Souls approach. Get good. Which get good. Dark Souls 2? My God, that game is <laughs> not good. No. No, Dark Souls 1 is fantastic, dude. Dark Heck. Souls 2 is sucks. It sucks. Well, the, I mean, like, the <gasps> thing is, like, most people, like, were already knew Dark Souls 2 wouldn't be good because, like, the original director of Dark Souls 1, who also worked on Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, uh, he didn't return in Dark Souls 2. So what happened is the team made the game and it sucked, right? But then um, Miyazaki came back and was like, what did you do? You screwed <laughs> it up. And so then he basically changed the enemy placement for the entire game. And then released it as Scholar of the First Sin, which is like a free patch for the game. Mm -hmm. So he like made it slightly better, but the problem is, is like um, the the enemies are still like not good. Like the the coding with the enemies in particular are not good, and there's like features in the game that shouldn't be there or need or la or lacking, and it's just dumb. Anyway, uh, I got my wood, so good to I, go. I, good know, band. Yeah, I'm I'm good. So uh, peace out, folks. Peace Happy out, Girl Scouts. Halloween. Ow, ow, ow. Boo!